Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asian Newsline and heard the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 10th of April. Canada clears India points to China in election meddling tour. Taliban announces return of Afghan Sikh politicians to Afghanistan. And Muslims in Pakistan and parts of India celebrate Eid ul Fitr. And now for all the details. Changing its claim and making a U-turn, Canada on Wednesday said that an official probe into the allegations of foreign meddling in Canada elections has concluded that India did not try to interfere in Canadian politics. This comes days after the Canada Security Intelligence Service alleged that India and Pakistan attempted to interfere in Canadian elections that took place in 2019 and 2021. India had earlier refuted the claims and assured its commitment to non-interference in democratic processes of other nations. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau won both the elections. Under pressure from opposition legislators unhappy about media reports on China's possible role, Trudeau had set up a commission to probe foreign interference. However, the Canadian intelligence agency found that China did interfere in Canada's elections. Canada's inquiry has escalated tensions in already restrained ties between the two countries. And in a first reaction to the report by The Guardian, India's Foreign Minister S. D. Shankar has refuted the allegations of India's involvement in assassination of individuals on Pakistani soil and said that Pakistan should be asking itself who are these people. The UK-based media portal citing Pakistani officials had alleged that New Delhi was behind the killing of at least 20 individuals in Pakistan who were associated with militant outfits. Reacting to the allegations in an interview with Republic TV, Jay Shankar said people should be asking Pakistan who were those sterling citizens whose death is an object of international attention. There are enough snakes in Pakistan's backyard that can bite each other. Let Pakistan figure out who killed their own citizens, he said. Earlier, the Indian Foreign Ministry had also rejected the reports by The Guardian and termed the claims as false and malicious. Meanwhile, India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on Tuesday gave a stern response to China that although New Delhi wants good relations with Beijing, but if someone tries to hurt the honour of India, then it has the power to respond. Taking on China for renaming 30 places in India's Arunachal Pradesh, Singh said nothing is going to happen by changing the names. He further questioned if he renames some places in China, then will they become a part of India? India had earlier this month outrightly rejected the renaming as senseless and asserted that assigning invented names does not alter the reality that the state is, has been and will always be an integral part of India. Moving on. The Taliban's contact commission with Afghan personalities has announced that Narendra Singh Khalsa, the representative of Hindus and Sikhs in the foreign Afghan parliament, has returned to the country from Canada. In 2021, when the Taliban seized power, members of religious minorities had fled the country, fearing persecution. There were also several explosions that occurred at their places of worship, which led to a mass exodus. Narendra Singh was one of two Afghan Sikh parliamentarians who were evacuated along with hundreds of other people by the Indian government. But both did not remain in India and sought asylum in Western nations. Although the reason for Khalsa's return to Afghanistan is unconfirmed, it is presumed that it's a part of Taliban's widely publicized policy to restore private property of Afghan Hindus and Sikhs. Hundreds of pro-monarchy protesters in Nepal on Tuesday clashed with police officials in Kathmandu as they marched in towards Singh Darbar for restoration of monarchy in the country. The protesters, who raised slogans for abolishment of federal structure, were led by Rajendra Lingdon, chairman of pro-monarch group RPP, and also a former deputy prime minister. Lingdon said the past 15 years have shown the current structure is not beneficial for the nation and that only a monarchy as an institution and a directly elected prime minister can bring about change. 
He called on government and opposition to be ready for a new political agreement with the former king or be prepared to leave the country, local media reported. The Tuesday's protests come two months after RPP submitted a 40-point charter of demands to Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dehl, demanding the reinstatement of constitutional monarchy and status of Hindu kingdom. Monarchy in Nepal was abolished after 2007 as the 1990 version of the constitution became defunct. निर्मूल करने आज आपको आवश्यकता हो इसको लागि संविधान नहीं परिवर्तन होने पर चाहे बनने रहा पर्पक मार्ग हो यो मुल्क में संविधान परिवर्तन करेगा यो मुल्क में हिंदू राष्ट्र कायम होने रहा राष्ट्रांगतला स्थापना करने सकते हों राष्ट्रपति को ठामा बनने की मात्रे यो मुल्क में मुल्क बहुत शक्ता भाई ना बनने की आज Bangladesh Transport Minister Ubdel Kadar has termed main opposition party BNP as a symbol of undemocratic force and said it always hatches conspiracy to destroy the country's democratic and stable environment. Kadar, who is also the general secretary of ruling Awami League, said on Tuesday that BNP's principle, ideology and activity are opposing the democratic values. BNP's stance is at the opposite pole of democracy in the political arena, he said in a statement. He further said BNP was born in the hands of a military dictator and bears an undemocratic spirit in disguise of democracy. BNP had resorted to terrorism and anarchy in order to thwart the elections without joining it, he added. Notably, BNP and ruling Awami League are at loggerheads with the former accusing PM Sheikh Hasina's government of authoritarianism. Hasina has refuted the charges and has termed the opposition party a terrorist organization. And Muslims in Pakistan and parts of India on Wednesday celebrated Eid al-Fitr, marking the end of the holy fasting month of Ramadan. Take a look. Pakistani Muslims held mass prayers on Wednesday to celebrate Eid al-Fitr, one of the two major festivals in the Islamic calendar that marks the end of the fasting month of Ramadan. A worshipper in Karachi said, We should keep our less privileged brothers in our minds and never forget them as a congregation embraced each other following a mass sermon outside a mosque. Another devotee said he remembered the persecuted Muslims of Palestine in his prayers. Ramadan ka mahina Allah Ta'ala ne hamata ki iske andar hamne roze rakhe Allah ki ibadat ki aur aaj Eid al-Fitr ki namaz ada kari. Hame iske andar apne tamam bhen baiyon ko, gharibon ko yaad rakhna chahiye ke hum unko nii bhulein jo humare andar gharib hai. Pakistan is a predominantly Muslim country where more than 90% of its 240 million population practices Islam. The government has declared a four-day public holiday for Eid from April 9 to 12. Meanwhile, similar scenes were witnessed in India's southern Kerala and Tamil Nadu states and the Union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh, where Muslims held mass prayers to mark the occasion based on sighting of the moon. The timing of Eid can vary in different countries depending on the sighting of the new moon, which marks the start of the month in Islam's lunar calendar. The festival will be marked in the rest of India and in neighboring Bangladesh on Thursday. The Eid al Fitr is the first time of Eid al Fitr. The Eid al Fitr is the first time of Eid al Fitr. The Eid al Fitr is the first time of Eid al Fitr. The Eid al Fitr is the first time of Eid al Fitr. The Eid al Fitr is the first time of Eid al Fitr. बार बार नहीं आता है क्योंकि जिस जिंदों का तबार है कि हमारे बुजुर्ग चले गए पिछले साल हमारे बुजुर्ग जो थे वो भी नहीं हैं इस दुनिया में लेकिन हमारा यही मैसेज है कि हमारा हिंदुस्तान आबाद रहे कायम रहे That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.